Right, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to the next video. It's going to be slightly different. We're on our way to the tackle shop to go and buy a few bits, but I'm on my new, uh, my new mode of transport. So while I was away on holiday, I had a message from a company asking if I would like to try out one of their electric bikes. And obviously I said yes. Um, obviously, uh, it was sent to me um, as a gift, if you like. All right, I've got to make a video on it and bits and bobs. It's actually something I would probably probably use quite a bit myself. Um, what I'm going to do is we get to the tackle shop, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now, at the minute, I'm loving life. Absolutely loving life. Listen to this. <laughs> it's so much fun. I'll bring you back. Right, so the plan was to do a video about the bike outside the shop. But they're putting scaffolding up out there today. And it's going to be here for the next few months. So if you do come to the tackle shop, Medway Tackle Supplies, obviously, it will be open. Their normal opening times have not changed. You've just got to work your way around the scaffolding. I'm pretty certain there's going to be an opening here somewhere so you can still get in and out. Um, right, yeah, this is a bike. So it's 14 inch wheels. Obviously, got a stand, all completely folds up, disc brakes front and back. It's got a little seat on the back. It's not a seat, it's more for storage and stuff. But I mean, I sat on it and had a go, and it was still good fun. Um, comfortable seat. Everything adjusts, and I mean everything. The seat goes up and down, it breaks in half there. Um, you can adjust the handlebars through that one, but I've done it up too tight. So you can adjust the, the, the way they go. Um, you can adjust the height of the handlebars. Um, that bar also folds down. Let me turn it on. Literally turn it on with one button, and it's on. It's easy. Sorry, Lewis. That's the hole. Lights are incredible. I'll cut in a minute to night time because I tried it out in the dark and the lights are honestly it's like an head torch. It's fantastic. Um it takes four hours to charge um from completely flat and it does eight to nine miles. M that may change. Yeah, sorry, somebody came in. Um so the mileage and the speed I would have thought probably is dependent on the size of the person. Now where I'm only skinny and light, ha ha ha. Um, no, I'm probably doing, I reckon I'm doing easy 15 mile an hour. Um, I haven't used it to its full potential yet. I've only nipped up the tackle shop, which is about a mile and a half away from my house, I would have thought. Um, yeah, about a mile and a half. But it takes my weight, and I am probably seven. I am not probably, I am definitely 17 stone something, because I weigh myself when I come back off holiday. Um, and it pulls me just fine. Um, and actually yesterday we was mucking around from our scrap channel and we hitched a trailer to it and filled it up with a load of scrap and it pulled me and the trailer. Um, other than that, there's not really a lot I can say about it. Apart from it is a really, really nifty bit of kit. I will be... Um, I will be using it to go fishing um, just as soon as I can. As soon as I can get, get hold of some bait. Um, bait's been a problem for ages. I mean, the shop's always got it, but I'll never ring up and order it quick enough. Um, but this week, I'm, this week I should have some fresh blacks. We're going to try and get out. Um, and I really want to... I'll strap my box to the back because there's plenty of places for bungee straps to hold it. To be fair, I could put it on my back anyway because it's got a backrest. Um, and then my, my rod's over my shoulder. But also, it's good for people that do lure fishing and things like that, where you've got just a little bag a little, and a little rod. It's ideal for nipping around spots. Talking of lures, look. There's such a different array of lures in the shop at the minute. And I really want to buy one of each one, but I don't do enough. The size of this beast. 300 grams. Oh, here's one of these mighty minnows. I bought one of these the other day. I bought several of these. I've got a few of these. Yeah. So, I don't really know what else I can say about the bike, to be fair, apart from it's good fun. Got brake lights, which are really bright at the night time. Cut to the night time bit. Right, guys, I just thought I'd quickly show you the full effects of the night time mode on the bike. Turn it on. Check this headlight out. That's incredible. Look at this, look. The headlight. Oh, can you see? No, bad recording. That's wicked. Sorry about Betsy doing her thing. We've got brake lights. Hang on. 
They do get brighter. Do you know what? What a, what a wicked little bit of kit this is. I am... No, I'm not going to do the whole... Not again. I am, um... I'm, um, yeah, massively, massively impressed. Now we've just got to mount some fishing gear on it. In a bit. So that was the nighttime bit, and it's, yeah, it's just good fun. So a massive shout out to DYU. I um, will leave, obviously, a link for this bike and all their other bikes and their website in the description. Um, and I suppose now we better go fishing somewhere. And here we are, fishing. On my bike. Oh, it looks a bit of a mess because I've covered it up in crap, but... What a bit of kit. So, let's talk you through the kit today. So I've got a travel rod. It is a, uh, it's a Salt XT. Midway Tackle sell them, but this isn't from the shop actually. I borrowed this from a good friend of mine, Mick. I was what I was gonna, it's what I took to Gran Canaria, but I never got a chance to use it. My little reel that's on one of my boat rods. Um, the only thing is, all the small stuff I had, small leads and things, I put in little bags to take the Gran Canaria with me. I don't put them back in my tackle box, so. It's a bit, I'm a bit overkill, I've got a 4 ounce lead. It actually might be a 5 ounce lead, but I'm only under arm flicking it in this channel in front of us, you see. So I'm down on the River Midway. I'm probably... The way I've read, oh, well, motored, if you like. I'm probably about 2 miles from my house, if that. Mm, one point, yeah. Yeah, just over, a, I'd say between a mile and a half, 2 miles from mine. Um, got me here, obviously, no problem. It's no problem at all. I did forget to mention the other day, guys, it's actually, got an, it's actually got an alarm, this bike. I haven't got it with me, but it's got a key fob. Two key fobs. You lock the bike as if you lock your car. As soon as somebody touches it, moves the handlebars, honestly, it moves at all. The alarm goes off, the lights flash. It makes a hell of a racket. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it also doubles up as a tripod, as you can see. Because that is where my rod's going to go, because I weren't going to carry a tripod with me. I could have done. So the box went on my back. My rods in a thing, which one on my back, but even if I had my proper rods, they would have been alright because I could have put them over my shoulder and still rid with it. It's you just it's just this, isn't it? So ideal. I got here a bit early actually. I'm just waiting for this tide to come in a bit more. And then there's plenty of mullet out there swimming around already. But um, I'm not here for mullet. I'm hoping to get a few bass today. Maybe a flounder. I've only got a squirrel lug. Um that's really all the shop I had to spare. Um because I didn't order nothing, I just 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 grabbed it. Um I, to be honest, I'm probably not expecting amazing fishing today, because as you know, I don't ever fish this close to my house. And this is this is all, all this is on my doorstep. All this is right on my doorstep. But all of my I've been fishing now for probably 20, 22 years, something like. That. Um, and I didn't pass my driving test until I was 24. So for 12, 13 years, all I really had to fish was the Medway. Don't get me wrong, people used to take me fishing. I did go to other places before then, but it was really only ever in Kent. Um, I've done a few trips to Celsius and stuff with, with, with mates and things, but I've fished the river so much and it's just like, ugh, I really can't be asked. There are some good fish to be had down here. As you know, Steve, the Maddie man, he fishes the river still quite a lot because um, he enjoys it. It's what he likes to do. He likes being by the river. Um, and he does all right. He gets a few fish. There are, there are some fish to be had. But I just, I like the adventure. I like going, getting out on the beach or getting out on a boat or whatever. Um, but yeah, all I'm going to use is a loop rig. I'm not going to bother clipping it up. There's no need because it's going to be an underarm cast pretty much. Um, just some straight um, commons. I've got some blacks in the fridge, but they, they, blacks don't ever seem to work on the river. I mean, they'll catch white in them things, they will. But common lug will outfish anything really. Even, I'd say commons probably do better than them rag down here um i mean i don't get me wrong i wouldn't mind to have a bit of rag as well to be fair but literally this mark here you only get probably three hours of fishing um and that's about it but there's there are some nice bass being caught up here um one of steve's favorite spots is just down the river a bit and he's yeah he's had some nice fish him and the lads there was even a bream caught here a couple of years ago which is very very unheard of especially for this part of the river i think from here to the end of the river is probably about eight or nine miles um so we're quite, a, we're quite a long way inland. Um, but yeah, well, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll chuck some bait on the hooks and just flick it out and get it out of there. I don't know if you can see. You can see the ripples there, the mullet swimming around. There's plenty of them out there. Um, and to be fair, the water's quite shallow. There's probably be some bass mixed in with them. You see them there, look? 
There's one there, there's one over the back. Um, there's one there coming towards it. There he is, look. There's quite a few out there. Plenty of seagulls making a bloody racket. But, um, it's, uh, I, I, I quite like this bike. It's, um, it's very, very cool, actually. Very cool. Right, let's get this rod cast out and, um, so we can winkle out a fish or two. In a bit. Loving life. It's a bit annoying, guys. I've had a little bass. It was only my new, and when I say my new, it was about this big. Um, and that's definitely not what she said. It was a lot bigger than that. Um, but I was on the phone. I was actually talking to uh, to Carlo from Inflatable Boat Fishing. It seems a few of you guys have ordered boats um, through seeing it on my channel, which is absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, for Carlo, that's the des desired effect through giving me a boat. That um, Obviously, it's publicity for him and, and advertising. So, guys, obviously, that makes me look good and helps me out with future things in the future. So, thank you very much. Um, but, yeah, because I was on the phone, I didn't get a chance to show you the bass. I couldn't keep it out of the water too long. But that tide's really, really pushed in. But you know what? It's, um, I, don't, I, keep, I say I don't fish here a lot. Um, I'm probably going to start doing a bit more local stuff like this. A couple of hours in the afternoon when I finish doing a bit of work. Um, kids are still at school. It's, uh, it's quite nice sitting chilling by the river, talking to the dog walkers walking past. Pete, I think I've had four people now ask, surely there ain't no fish in here. But you'd be surprised. There can be some nice fish up the Medway. It can be some really nice fish. Um, and not just up the Medway, but anywhere, these little creeks and bits of estuary and stuff. Um, if, if there's any, any of it part, part near where you live, and especially if there's people watching that are thinking of getting into fishing, go to your local tackle shop, give it a go. Go and ask them. That, that they're there, they're there obviously to, to supply you with bait and tackle and rods and reels and stuff like that, but they're also there as knowledge. I mean, most tackle shops can, can, be, can be helpful. Um, I think long gone are the days of the tackle shops that just tell you a load of rubbish just to get you in their shop to buy bait because well I've worked in it I still do do a bit of work in a tackle shop but I know that tackle shops don't really make any money on bait um, for what it costs them um, and then time they pay their taxes and VATs and then they have to cover their losses because because bait is a funny thing and we all know that it can turn very quickly um, when you average it out over the course of a year, they're probably, I very much doubt they make much money. The reason they do it, obviously, is to get people in the shop to buy other things, tackle, rods, reels and stuff. Um, which is another reason why why really we should always use our, our local shops for things. Um, or I understand that some shops don't, don't quite have on the shelf what you want, but then if you ask your tackle dealer, because I know it's exactly the same with Midway Tackle Supplies, if there's something we haven't got in the shop, doesn't mean we can't get it or they can't get it i say we like it's mine but it's not i just they're, they're good guys at the, at the local shop my local shop and i'm sure they are most most of other people's local shops so give them a little look in um i'm definitely going to look at the, getting one of these little rods because these are brilliant um like i say this is a friend of mine's this little uh, travel rod mix but i uh, i'm going to get up the shop later on actually well i'm working there tomorrow to be fair so i'll um i'll have a little look see how much they are but it's absolutely ideal to be fair, I wish I had a smaller lead because it's hard work casting the five ounce on it because I'm having to do like a little gentle lob. Although I don't really need to go far, it's um, I'm scared about breaking it. But um, yeah, for three ounce lead, this will be amazing, I think. But hopefully, guys, we'll see a bass or two or something, and I'll um, and I'll show you some fish. Right, well, it's been a nice afternoon by the river, but no fish, sadly. Now time for the trusty ride home. Get some power. Let's get off this little hill. Ugh. Away we go. Bit of off-roading, never hurt anyone. It's good off-road as well, this little thing. Obviously I'm not going full for all because I'm uh, riding with one hand and uh, trying to film. But yeah, well guys, thank you for watching. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, I will, uh, I better go. I'll see you on the next one. Sorry there was no fish, but that's fishing. <laughs>